At the end of the day, man, you cannot deny Leon Rocky Edwards any further. 12 wins in a row. Honestly, if you're really thinking about it, controversy aside and all that good stuff, man, Leon Edwards is very, very underrespected. If you really think about it, man, looking at what he just did to Kamaru Usman, nobody does that to Kamaru Usman. Nobody has Usman come in on that many takedown attempts and stuff so many of them. But we do got to take a step back because Usman did take him down four times. The only difference was Edwards was able to pop right back up. Aside from one of them, he was able to pop right back up, get back to the game plan. My question to you here, AJ, is was this phenomenal game plan by Leon Edwards an off night by an aging 35-year-old Kamaru Usman or something in between? Because we was all over Usman before. There's no excuses now. So I just want your opinion. What do you think it was? I, I definitely think it's that C answer, that something mm -hmm. in between, man, because technically, or, or technique-wise, I should mm -hmm. say, Rocky Edwards had an impeccable game plan and stuck to it, like you said, Derek, stuck to it perfectly, did not falter, did not alter, did not do any of the things that you know could have cost him the match. Well, as the same point, Kamaru felt a little hesitant, if you will, a little slower, worried, and we were talking about it uh, before um, off camera where we were saying, man, it's the body kicks, the head kicks. Mm -hmm. It felt like everybody knew that head kick was coming, and even when it did in the fourth round, it landed and didn't really have the effect the the first one did, but still, you could tell it still had an effect. Kamaru got hit with it, and he was like, oh, okay, like that was the one, and you could tell him kind of shake it off, have the moment of the fight, but you could tell it was weighing on him heavily, so I think it's a little bit of both, Derek. Would you agree? I would agree. Um, I definitely think that our question was answered in terms of like mentally, can he bounce back from that KO? And I thought, yes, the answer was yes. But we did not get that same Kamaru Usman from the last fight where he was pressing him, reckless abandon, throwing big shots and all that. We didn't get that same same Kamaru Usman. And he actually did get caught by that head kick, but he actually ate it. So that was another little factor in there. When Trevor Whitman is constantly telling you, you need to move forward, bro. Like you're doing a lot of this chasing, but you're not actually getting your hands on him. That was signaling to me. I was like, man, it's already round four. Whitman keeps telling you it is. You got to do something at this point. And there was a lot of that chasing, but never really hitting the mark. Now, here's my thing, man. We have to address the beginning of the fight. Controversy in terms of the penalties, right? Leon Edwards did get a point taken away. He felt like he shouldn't have. He should have got a warning. Now, this is going to be the golden rule across the board, man. Why not cheat? They're not going to do anything about it until you do it three, four times anyways. Fuck it. Grab the cage. You know what I mean? Uh, hook the gloves. What? At this point, legitimately, it seems like you get all of these warnings for these fight-affecting positions, and then it just takes a big one to finally award a point. And that's something new. Before, I mean... Brother, I don't want to bring this up, man, but Kamaru Usman is kind of notorious for grabbing the cage. You know, the Colby Covington fight, let's, you know, let's talk about it. But um, starting off your first championship defense and you have all of these penalties, right? So it was a hooked glove. It was grabbing the cage and then it was like a nut shot all in like a couple like minutes span. Visual, visual wise, is anybody going to look back and remember that and say like, oh, that was kind of a weird way to kind of do your title defense or does this not mean anything? I don't think it means anything, Derek, and it goes kind of more to your point yeah. of, fuck it, why not cheat? I mean, <laughs> even if you get a 10-8 round, it it's doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because it kind of falls into obscurity. Mm -hmm. We just know who wins, who gets the double paycheck at the end of the day. I definitely like the idea of taking the points for every single offense. Mm -hmm. Regardless, you know, maybe not a first nut shot because sometimes yeah. the, the leg can slide up, but something intentional, intentional, excuse me, grabbing the cage, hooking the inside of the gloves, multiple offenses of things. Because I definitely think the the referees have been getting better yeah. about the the intent clause in that rule. You know, like what was the intent of this action, and then that's when they take the point. I really like that, and I like that that that's where they're going, but it still doesn't seem heavy enough. It doesn't weigh heavy enough to prevent fighters from actually doing it. So I don't, I don't even know how you improve that besides taking points for every single infraction, barring, yeah. you know, nut shots or eye pokes accidentally. Absolutely. And I do like how they said, all right, well, we'll give, uh, we'll take a point away from Edwards, right? But we're not going to give Usman, we're not going to give you that position. And I think that's fair. I think it's very fair. They just did that in the Davy Grant fight just like a week ago or something like that. So like, continuity consistency that's what it's about now this is my real concern right here man leon edwards um he was he was really picking usman apart man kind of marvin vittori style where he was just on the outside picking apart that leg body kick leg kick body kick leg kick really didn't do much with the hands if you look at the numbers edwards did outscore usman 120 to 87 but then like i said you got to factor in those four takedowns by usman Obviously, damage over control, but let's be real. Both of these dudes kind of walked out like they didn't really even get into a fight. So not a lot of damage happened here. 
visual wise, I want your perspective. Isn't it weird to see a champion defend their belt when their back is against the cage 90% of the fight and they're running from the guy who's chasing them down, who's kind of bullying them there? And yeah, you're getting some good clean counter strikes in there and you're, you're doing the right technical thing. But visual wise, that's that's not, not a good visual to defend your belt, right? hundred percent. I Well, I should say 99%, Derek, because <laughs> yes, it's not a thing. But if that's if that's been the style from day one, from jump, where you're walking backwards, people are being the aggressor, and then you're counter sniping and dropping them, okay. You know, that we're expecting that. We're expecting that kind of same thing from, his, let's say, Stephen Thompson is the champion. We're expecting him to play the game. Mm-hmm. When you're Leon Edwards and you're, you know, we're used to seeing Rocky come out, use the hands, beat you up, not necessarily be the aggressor because it def- Kamara was going to be that guy no matter yeah. what in this fight. But it was it wasn't the most exciting win from a champion of any champion. You know, let me just piece you up from outside and keep running away. And then I'm going to retain the championship because we're in London. And I'm going to get the points. So, you know. Yeah, it's tough because on one hand, I mean, Israel Adesanya kind of made a a whole career off of kind of that style, (laughs) but he also does go on the offensive and he knocks these dudes out and does all this stuff. I just thought it was a weird way. Majority decision for your first title defense. It's not glamorous. It's not like, ooh, this is this new dominant champion. It really has some questions that are still unanswered right here. Um, Last thing before we move on, man. I actually don't see as much of a problem as I think everybody else does with this, but a lot of people are saying, hey, I thought Kamaru Usman won the fight. Now, just uh, see, the face that you're making right there goes to show. The right man won the fight, obviously. Edwards won the fight. But if it's a close fight, in the champion's hometown, are you not expecting that they give him the nod? Like, is this new? Is this, is this something that's never <laughs> happened before? So give me your thoughts on that, because a lot of people are calling biased judging, biased commentary, everything's biased because it's in London, but it's like, duh, that's the champion's hometown. What do you, what do you think? I think you're just uh, pointing it out now because it's not on our home turf, Derek, and we're not the ones benefiting from it. It's usually how it goes. People not benefiting are the ones, you know, crying about it and doing all that stuff. And I I do think it was a lot closer of a fight. And even I, when we were, we were at the sports bar watching it, me and my lady, um, I was like, I don't really know who won this fight. Like, I think Leon won, personally, just me. Um, but I don't know who the judges give it to. And, if, if, you know, if it's that close, they're definitely giving it to Leon in London. I yeah. mean, it's kind of what you expected. Not a, not a big surprise. And I also think just by the body language, too, you could feel Kamaru didn't give his best effort. So it it felt like Rocky did enough, but not so much where it was a blow away, you know? Yeah, last thing here, because we spent enough time talking about this, man, is that two things, right? One, headshot bang, right? Everybody is, that's the new moniker, right? I do not think that that is something that is suitable to use when you win a majority decision when you're on the back foot and did almost zero damage to your opponent. In terms of legitimate headshot anything, there's no headshot bang. What is this? You know what I mean? Yeah, you got it on the last one. Why are you resting on your laurels? You're living off of your past glories. In this fight, you won a close one. Where's this headshot bang? Is that is that going to continue to live? I'm so glad you said something, Derek, because it was the most cringy part of the night to hear him jump on the mic and say it again. And I, and I get it. From a PR standpoint, mm-hmm. if your agent's telling you, push the one thing that was that you said last time, so we can sell some shirts, we can get some merch, we're going to make it a thing, this is going to be your thing, headshot bang, I just need more headshots or else it's going to be completely pointless and you're going to look dumb. So, I, I, yeah, I, I did not like it. I heard it and I was like, oh, that's a miss. This fight should have been leg kick pivot, leg kick pivot. That's it. Not hedgehog bang, leg kick pivot. Either way, the champion has a name. The welterweight champion has a name. His name is Leon Rocky Edwards. The future is bright here. We got a couple contenders in the mix, man. I don't like that he wants to fight Jorge Masvidal, but that is a narrative long running. Doesn't deserve it. Kobe doesn't really deserve it. Blah Muhammad. That's the guy, I think, but they won't give it to him. Either way, um, let's...